Hello everybody, Kyle here from Web Dev Simplified. In this video, we're going to talk about the controversial topic of whether or not someone can be too old to learn programming. The easiest answer to why you may see more young programmers than old programmers is that the widespread use of programming as a job is really relatively new compared to most other jobs. The first computer science classes really didn't start being formed until about the mid-1960s, and they really didn't start picking up popularity until more popular languages such as C and Java started coming to the forefront of technology. And then we started creating websites and Facebooks and all this kind of stuff that really exploded the need for programmers. But that is all in recent memory for most people, so that's why you see mostly younger people getting into these jobs because those degrees weren't really very popular or readily available for older generations. But that doesn't really explain why most people view programming as a young person's job. Another job, the physician's assistant, started around the same time in the 1960s and really didn't start picking up popularity until more recent years. But nobody looks at the physician's assistant job and thinks, oh, that's only for young people. So there must be some other problem that is plaguing programming specifically. And in my opinion, one of the biggest problems is that people see other people that have been programming for a much longer period of time and seeing all the amazing things that they can do and they think, well, this person's so good at this, they've been doing it for so long, then there's no way that I can start because I'm so much older than them or I have no experience yet, so there's no way I can get to where they are and they're already younger than me. Now this is a problem that everybody faces. Even I faced that problem when I first went to school for programming in college. I didn't know anything at all about programming. I'd written less than 100 lines of code before I went to school for it, and I was in classes with tons of people that seemed like they'd been writing code since they came out of the womb, and I was like, how am I supposed to keep up with these people? They know so much more than me. I don't even know what an if statement does, and these people are already making websites. How am I supposed to do this? And it really makes you doubt yourself, and that kind of thought just nags at you and thinks, well, maybe I'm just too late. I didn't start this young enough. I should have started when I was 12 or eight or 10 even. This is made even worse by social media because normally when you run into these people that have been programming for a very long time, yes, they're very talented, but it's also very few people that you'll run into that have been programming since such a young age. Usually, most people start programming when they're in college or even maybe 10 years after they graduate from college when they want to change jobs. But on social media, all you really see is the incredibly successful and young programmers that are really defying odds by doing such incredible things at such a young age and it can really discourage you and make you think that everybody started like that. But let me tell you, I promise you, almost everybody that started programming either started it around college age, around 18, or maybe 10, five years after graduation from college when they decided they wanted to switch jobs to become a programmer. And some people even start later, maybe 20 years or 30 years after they graduate. There really is no limit to when you can start learning programming because it's a skill that is very easy to learn but difficult to master. So it's very rewarding to learn at any age and you can pick it up at any age. But you may be wondering, how does it explain all of the multi-million dollar tech startups that keep popping up that are started by people in their 20s or even younger and these are getting tons of media news coverage all over the place? And that's simply because those stories of young people achieving incredible things is much more interesting to people to listen to and watch. So the media is going to cover that more thoroughly than a normal person learning programming at a normal age with two kids trying to learn it on his own. And that just doesn't really sell news. It's just not as interesting. But I guarantee you that there are so many more people doing that than there are people that are younger creating these fancy tech startups. Another issue related to this topic of tech startups and news coverage is the idea of fancy offices with maybe ping pong tables, volleyball courts, all these different activities that are trying to attack younger and younger talent to these teams and they get tons of coverage talking about all these fancy new offices at google or facebook for example and all of these are in the hopes of attracting young talent to these projects and it makes you think well all they want is young people for all these different projects nobody wants anybody that's older so why should i even try but that completely ignores the majority of companies that are using technology and employing programmers which are banks, for example, and other really large companies that just need websites or tech support or any of that kind of stuff, which are not looking to employ younger people or older people. They just want people that are talented and they don't care about doing all these fancy things with volleyball courts and ping pong tables. So they don't get the news coverage that these other places are getting. But I promise you, places like banks and supermarkets and just any big business that you can think of employs so many more programmers than these fancy tech startups that are trying to attract all this young talent with all of these different things. So when you look at these small tech startups, 
don't think that that is the normal type of people that are employing other programmers and think that these are the outliers that the news is covering and the majority of people that are employing programmers don't care about your age, they just care about your talent. The last topic I want to talk about in this video is the idea of being too old and not having enough time to learn programming. For example, if you're 18 years old, you have so many less responsibilities, so it's so much easier to pick up new things because you have so much more time on your hands. But when you're 30 years old and married with two kids, it's so much harder to find that time to be able to create and learn new things. But the great thing about programming and web development specifically is that it's so easy to pick up. The actual skills that you need to know are very small, and what makes it difficult is the actual time it takes to master and become an expert at it. But the great thing about that is that that mastery and expert level of doing things can be learned on the job. So all you need to do is learn the base skills and become good enough at that to get a job. And then that job can teach you all you need to know in order to master and become an expert at whatever skill in programming you decide to learn. But the upfront learning is so small that you can do it no matter what your circumstances are and no matter how much time you have available and especially no matter what your age is. So if you have ever been worried about being too old or even maybe too young to start programming, just forget anything about that. There is no minimum or maximum age to programming and you can start anywhere between kindergarten and retirement and still enjoy it and have a fruitful career from it. So I hope this video was able to dispel any of the myths that you had about being too old to learn programming and have convinced you that you should learn programming now. If you are looking to learn programming, especially web development, make sure to subscribe to my channel for tutorials on web development and check out some of my beginner playlists listed over here for how you can actually start learning programming. Thank you guys very much for watching this video and have a good day.